Hey, fellow masterminders, online product creators, follow up to yesterday's video. Listen, I, I put out a video or a live yesterday um, that I got a fair number of emails on. Uh, I talked about the three-step simple process for creating your own digital product business online. And you may want to go back and seek that out because it was a, a pretty popular live. Uh, a lot of people watched it after the fact and found it really useful, found it a useful way to um, figure out a way for them. They, they've been thinking about it for a long time of getting into the business and they found it a simple way to enter and grow in the business that was kind of risk-free, something they could do on the side, get started and um, give them a plan really for moving forward. But one of the most common questions I got was around topics. And I thought I would give you, and, I, and all I did, I, I do this regularly. I wouldn't say once a week, but, but certainly once a month, is I'll go up to the various different course platforms, Udemy, uh, Teachable, I'll go up to Amazon and look at top sellers. Basically, I'm looking for what are the, and, and you can do this with YouTube videos as well, very, um, very useful thing to do, is to find out what's trending, what are the top topics, and you'll find many of them are very consistent. They've been consistent for a decade. Um, things like weight loss and fitness and, um, you know, business improvement and things like that, um, you know, diet and, and food and, and all that kind of stuff. And then some things are very trendy, right? So you got to watch those ones that you don't jump in and it's only lasts for a year. Um, but it, it's a useful way to sort of communicate to you that there are many topics. And just to give you an idea of the numbers. So I, I wrote some of them down. I went up and just looked at Udemy, um, top trenders for 2023 so far. And uh, they lumped them into different categories, the top trending sort of six categories. I'll start with one, and I'm going to go through over 20 topics here just to give you a flavor for, for what's selling and maybe to tweak your mind about some things that you probably know a thing or two about, and it could at least begin to enter the space with a, uh, a small product, whether a giveaway product or, or an initial lead gen product. So the first category they list is design, and by design, they primarily mean things like graphical design. Um, if you have used Canva, if you've used Photoshop, um, if you have done any web design, you know, this is kind of technical stuff. So either you have or you haven't, and it's okay if you haven't. I mean, there's other categories, but, you know, there's a lot of things that people do every day in terms of just build a blog, build a website, build uh, a graphic on Canva, et cetera, that they could be documenting their progress. In other words, as you learn, you can be documenting it. And each time you document something that can be a module in your course. And you learn four or five things and you've got an intro course, right? So how you get started, maybe how you create a basic Instagram graphic, how you um, create a Facebook, um, you know, graphic, how you create a stories graphic. I mean, just if you do a handful of these things, you've got yourself the beginnings of a course and definitely enough for a lead gen product um, or, or two or three, right? So... Um, and what's interesting is that category, if you look at the top courses, they have anywhere from um, 50 to 100,000 members in those courses, each paying about 20 bucks a piece. So give you an idea, you start to do the math, you're starting to look at a one to $2 million business for those top course creators, right? So, you know, put yourself in a category where you want to earn 100K with your own course, very, very doable. And you don't need to be one of the top courses to do it. All right, let's go to the next category. So next one was development. Again, it's technical. It's more along the lines of if you've done any coding, um, if you've done HTML coding, if you've done C coding. But again, anyone who's out there who is, has done development or knows basic scripting or development languages, you can put out your own course. And just because you can't write a 300 page book that's gonna be at the ins and outs of all your programming, if you've done something very bas basic in a certain coding language, then go ahead and start releasing your course. And these ones, some of these ones had two to hundred to 300,000 students, each paying 30 bucks. It's a little bit of a premium type topic. And, uh, you know, so you can see these to be four to $6 million course creators, right? That come up with some of these products. Um, marketing, marketing is another category. And you and marketing is very broad. You've got everything from how to write press releases to how do you do social media, how do you do Instagram marketing, both influencer marketing as well as ads. Um, you got Facebook topics. How do you how do you um, 
become a Google Ads expert? Um, how do you re-Google Analytics? So all of that stuff, I mean, you don't have had to have mastered all of marketing. All you need to do is dig into one part. You know, maybe it's organic, uh, getting organic uh, video views on YouTube, or maybe it's, um, uh, you know, placing an ad and getting, and, and you show people how you have placed your ads on Facebook platform and the ones that performed the ones that didn't. You know, those are all topics and all things that you can sell a course on, certainly a $27, $37 entry level course. And then as you grow that and you try new things, you can turn that into a $97, $197 um, online course. And I know many people that if you stick with it and you can even, you can do a couple things, you can work with other people and you can help them place their ads. You can even turn it into a bit of an agency. And then you can actually run this as a high-end coaching program as well, because you're now leveraging what you're learning from many people, right? Um, what else? Personal development's a big one. So lots of topics on personal development. Um, and I just wrote these down because, I, you know, everything from time management uh, through to productivity, people want to gain productivity any way they can, through to public speaking, communication, um, type topics right through to, let's see what else was on the top of the list here. Um, storytelling, critical thinking, stress management for sure is a, is a top one. It's a, that one's been there forever and it's a, it's a winning formula. So if you can come at, you know, stress management from a breathing aspect, from a control your time aspect, from a exercise perspective, from a yoga perspective, just think any one of your interests that you have whether it's a hobby or a fitness routine or, um, uh, you know, anything you do to manage stress in your life, if you can help teach people as a mechanism, then you're going to have a product that you can market either as a lead gen product into further content or as an initial paid product, right? Um, what else? Self-confidence is always a big one. So anything you can do to, that you've learned along your, on your path in life, to help build your confidence on a new topic in a new area. Again, very powerful. So what else? What else we have? Business, the whole area of business. And when they talk about business, they're talking about more enterprise business. So if you've worked in an environment where you've had to use productivity tools or you've had to use um, development tools, product management tools like Agile, um, communication tools, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Excel, if you're... If any one of those areas in terms of an application suite um, or a process within enterprise is is something you've learned, you can take that out and teach it on a platform. These courses had 50 to 100,000 students, anywhere from 20 to 40 or $50 a piece. Again, easily something you can ramp up to uh, a six to seven figure business in training over time, right? Um, so again, if that's your thing and you enjoy that, then jump into those areas. Let's see what else. Uh, photography. Photography is a big one. So hobby-based businesses in general are big on the platform. Uh, things like crafting and, and um, you know, dancing, music. Um, but photography is, is especially a big one. And it, this also varies by platform, by the way. If you go to different platforms, different um, hosting platforms, different uh, course hosting platforms, you will notice different trends in the types of topics that they carry. So this, this is Udemy's list, and it's just one of dozens of platforms where there's um, these e-training type, type courses. I urge you to look at four or five of them, get them in your list, and just look at what's trending each month, right, and give you new product ideas. But for now, I hope some of this is tweaking ideas in you because you can come at these topics from a lot of different ways. You can come at, you, you know, what I often find is, um, one of the, I guess my third product, fourth product I wrote was a, um, a product to help people get unstuck when you're stuck in a rut and you don't know what the problem is, what's holding you back and how to break free. I came at that from um, a meditation sort of yoga perspective because I knew that those were important ways to manage things like fear and stress that were holding people back. But, you know, you, know, you can come at a topic that's been well covered by linking it to something else that you personally have used in your life or a skill or talent that you've had in your life. So that's another approach and a very common approach and one that we work through at 30dayproductprofit.com is to help people inventory what is the knowledge they already have, what are the skills, what are the 
um, the background, the experience that they have, and how can that be linked to a current everyday topic today? And it gives them a brand new perspective on that topic and a differentiated um, angle to come at the product, right? Um, what else? Uh, wedding photography, if you've got a specific type of photography experience. So if you're somebody that um, really likes going out in nature and taking a lot of iPhone videos and iPhone pictures and getting the best exposures for those, um, close-ups, you know, you know the settings, you know how to work timers, you know, you know how to edit them down. Great, that's a perfect topic to, to generate a course on because there's people in there looking for it. Um, if you're somebody who's DSLR cameras, great, go do that. Um, if you are somebody who is into editing, um, go do that, right? If you're someone who does graphics design for photographers, to help them sell their work, then go do that. So all kinds of different topics. So we've covered well more than 20 here, but I just wanted to get you, for you to get a flavor for the types of topics that are out there, that there's tons of them there. There is literally these top course sellers on these platforms are making millions of dollars selling their courses. And even if you don't aspire to that big a, a paycheck just for a single course, you can have many of them out there earning five figures um, very easily by picking a topic that you're passionate and interested in and you document as you learn and you continue to build course content and nothing stops you from putting up three and four of those that of course that's the way to get six or seven figures so hope that was useful for you um, leave a comment below if you thought it was if you have a topic in mind you want you're thinking of testing let us know and um, you know head over to hiretrustmarketing.com for a lot more information that's our main blog and website and 30dayproductprofit.com is our paid for service that we're, he, we help you know, entrepreneurs, trainers, speakers, everyday people like me and you who just have an idea that want to package their course in the next 30 days and get it online and get the first course selling, um, as well as course systems and tools and techniques and mentorship over at that forum, okay? So that's it for now. We'll see you guys very soon in another live. If you enjoy this, Share it with other people, share it with you, your followers, and for sure, let us know below by leaving a comment and a like. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.